What's going on guys, Phil here from Phil's Craft Corner. I'm back at the workshop today. I know I've done another workshop vlog, but I'm thinking of kind of changing the, uh, the title of that instead of just calling it a workshop vlog. I'm going to call it Workshop Wednesdays. I'm going to have it done every Wednesday. I'm going to talk about what I've done through the week, what I'm going to be doing, what I'm up to, talk about a few tools and bits and pieces. Uh, maybe do a little bit of a workshop tour, some upgrades that I've been doing. Just to have a little bit more structure in the way I'm doing my videos, it gives me a plan, it makes sure I do a video every Wednesday and I'm not just doing it on a whim when I've got a little bit of time. I just want to have a little bit of structure for you guys so you can just follow along with what's going on. Uh, today I am going to be fitting a bath panel in the house that I've been doing with the kitchen. Finished the kitchen now, just need to put the thick boards in at the bottom. The landlord's putting different flooring in, I think he's doing that himself, so once that flooring is done I'm going to go back and I'm going to put the kickboards in. There's no point in me doing it straight away because if I put some flooring in that's thicker, I'm going to have to go back in and I'm going to have to cut them down again. So there's no point in doing the job twice, just do it once. So today I'm going to finish the bath panel there because they've got an old teak laminated bath panel but it's MDF and obviously it's blown a bit and it's just over the years it's just gotten worse and worse. So we're going to get a new bath panel, we're going to put that in to match the nice modern kitchen downstairs. Today uh, I've also got my work bag. Over well, here we've got my work bag. So today I'm going to show you what I've got in my work bag, what I carry around, the general items that I have in here for most handyman stuff. So it's my work bag, I take my saw and I take my screw box and that covers 80 to 90 percent of what jobs I need to do. Uh, if it's a specific job then I'll take some other tools with me. But I have my ox saw, my ox bag, ox tape measure, I have some ox gloves in the car and that's all because when I ordered some stuff from Howden's, some fitting some kitchens and stuff like that recently, every £50 you spent you got a voucher and well a sticker and once you filled your card you could claim one of these and it was the, you got the bag, you got the saw, you got the tape measure, you got a pair of gloves and you got a pair of goggles and it was just like a free reward for spending so much with them and it, it's an amazing bag really good fast saw you don't get a nice clean cut but it's really fast so um i do have a up on the wall over there i do have a cleaner cut erwin saw for finer jobs the screw box this is a bit of a mess i dropped it a couple of days ago and i've not had a chance to sort it out because as you can see there's everything and it's all just everywhere at the moment but once it's all sorted out i have my five by 50 screws which go really well with my dual power plugs. I have an empty worktop counter box. I've got a broken hinge from another job. I really, really need to sort this out. I, I dropped it the other day and I just looked at it and I was like, nope, can't be doing that. I'm not, not happy with it at the moment. So I'm going to be sorting that out today as well. Take everything out, sort everything in the size order and go back through it. But generally I have multiple different size screws in each of these. I have my dual power plugs. I have another two boxes of screws there. And I've got a number of drill bits just to keep in the corner there to go through pretty much everything. So that covers most uses for anything I need screws for. On the outside of this, don't think I've got anything in this pocket anymore. Nope. I have my small magnetic spirit level. I have a full set of adjustable wrenches down in sizes just to fit pretty much anything on. Four pencils, never have no less than four pencils because I'll always lose them. have a set of mitre bond, I've got a few screwdrivers here, some of the larger ones just go in their own socket, I've got some more smaller ones on here down to little tiny ones. I've got my silicon trim sets, this one was the most expensive one and it's the worst one. I did have another one of these but I've lost it and honestly this is the one I use 99% of the time anyway. Uh, I don't know if you can see on there we have different size radiuses so you've got 6, 8, 10 and 14 and that does 90% of uses. Uh, these have got right angle corner there, 2mm right angle, you've got 4mm radius, I think that is a 20mm radius there and more different angles and right angles. We've got a removal tool as well, which is great. Uh, that set cost me £1.99 in pound stretcher, and it's been a great set. This cost me around £8 
and it's a unibond and it's, it just it does not work as well at all the next thing I've got I've got some mold grips I've got some pliers and different grips in there I've got an extendable magnet grabber just to pick up dropped screws and stuff I've got some filler no nonsense filler I've got a clip up Stanley blade which has a little catch at the back to stop it closing again it's handy to just keep in my pocket when I'm on the job site got some plumbers PTFE tape got myself a little sharpie I do have a bigger marker pen as well over there I'll put that back next to the sharpie so two marker pens just in case I need those in this front pocket here I have set of Araba impact driver bits even though I don't have an impact driver but they do do a pretty good job got a countersink bit some spare Stanley blades and that's it in that pocket I have a little brush this is just a really really cheap brush this is just to clean off any dust or debris from somewhere where I need to put any filler or anything like that I have some spare dowels I have some matchsticks which are great for fixing any loose screws in door hinges. It's one of the most common problems with doors is the screw pulls out of the door frame and you just put some matchsticks in, again with a bit of mitre bond, so it sets instantly and then you can just screw straight into that. Scraper, just for bits and pieces, a couple of zip ties, I need some more zip ties, I'm running out, so I'll grab some more later on today. Uh, some masking tape, always keep some masking tape with you some toilet roll for wiping up any silicon or if you're working in an empty property and there's no toilet roll lifesaver sanding block just a cheap little sanding block uh, I've got some sandpaper up in the top pocket up here with some scissors to cut that down I have my large DeWalt combi drill I've got two batteries for this uh, a spare one I it's on charge at the moment but I do keep that in here as well got my smaller just dry, drill driver which I just use as a screwdriver instead of an impact driver I have a just a standard 16 ounce hammer I think it is, I've had this thing for decades I think I've had this about 15, 20 years maybe it's just a little hammer a little plastic block I got this from an old laminate fixing kit and uh, I just use this with the hammer to stop marking any surfaces oh look, an extra cable tie i've got three in there now i've got a tap wrench some anti-back wipes forged square spare hinges in there some chrome hinges chrome plated i've got my parkside multi detector uh, which just works pretty well actually for the price of it color fill which is good for i've got black in here at the moment if you've got any holes in your laminate flooring or anything like that you can get a colour match to whatever it is you need and that is it that's what I keep in my tool bag so what we're going to do now is I'm going to get ready I'm going to go and pick up the bath panel and then we're going to go and fit a bath panel right guys so we've just measured up at the house just to make sure we are getting the right size bath panel because most baths are standard sizes but some places have a shorter bath so we're on our way there and uh, Go to drive, I suppose.
to the world's smallest bathroom. This is the bath panel we are replacing. It is all blown along here. It's MDF covered in uh, teak style laminate vinyl. And uh, we're just going to take that out and we're going to put just a, a flat white plastic one in. Hi guys, we've got the old bath panel out and the new one in. I couldn't actually find a decent angle to put you anywhere. I watched back all the footage that I just shot because it was hard work. I managed to pull the other one off. Uh, I had to lever it from this side and then just rip it off because there was a, a screw in the bottom here that the head had stripped. There was a screw in the bottom there that the head had stripped. Sorry, I'm out of breath. I just carried all the stuff downstairs after doing that job. Let's have a look at the kitchen I've done, shall we? So, uh, yeah, we've modernised in here. I've put a new cooker in. Kept the old sink because that was fairly recent. Um, all new wall units, take them out. I've put new ones in, roughly the same size. New cooker, new cooker hutch. Someone's coming to fit them in because I'm not gas certified. Uh, built a boiler cupboard, which doesn't open all the way because of the radiator, but you can get stuff in and out of there quite easily and get to your boiler. This top panel can be unscrewed. Got some excess countertop, which I think the landlord's going to take to do some of the flaps and stuff like that. But all in all, I'm quite happy with the job, quite happy with what's been done. Uh, yeah, I think I might be done at this house. Uh, on to the next one I guess.